pun punishment infers that the horse did something wrong to me, so I'm going to get back at the horse. <clears throat> Where correction kind of infers that the horse did something something wrong, and so I'm going to replace that behavior with something else. Where, you know, punishment has a lot, when, when people punish their horse, it has a lot of um, emotion involved in it. When they correct their horse, you're taking an unwanted behavior and correcting it with a wanted, or replacing it with a wanted behavior. So, when she, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer her, we'll come into the center of the round pen, and then she's basically got two choices. She can stand and allow me to throw the saddle on her, or she can choose to walk away. And whichever one she chooses is fine with me. If she chooses to walk away though, then I'll chase her away so she's going away because I asked her to. So I'll chase her away and then just make her work. And then we'll work on those inside turns and outside turns along the rail. And then through the course of through the course of time of doing that, you know one thing that'll happen is she will she will get a little more tired out. Does she want to work or does she want to stand and accept what I'm asking her to accept? And it all goes down to the basics of teaching the horse, teaching the horse that when she's with me, the work's easy, and when she's away from me, the work's harder. So when she chooses to, when she chooses to stay with me, that work is easy. You know, saddle her up, which isn't hard work on her. When she chooses to walk away, and when she chooses to be away from me, then the work is much harder. And I don't want, I don't want to force the horse to be saddled. I want the horse to willingly allow me to saddle her, which is one of the downsides. To working like starting them in the arena like we did. Just because we have, you know, I wasn't able to teach you that. Yeah. When she's throwing her head down like that a little bit, is that meaning anything or? Well, I don't mean down, but you know, she's just kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. She's just protesting a little bit with her head. But it's not necessarily it's not disrespect. A, no, it's not really disrespect. It's, um, it's kind of her way of acting out, I guess. Yeah.
so breaking a horse is kind of like a uh, kind of like punishing too, right? You don't necessarily break them; you just start them. Yeah. You know, breaking their will. And, you know, the training has evolved quite a bit since then into where we're not, we're not trying to break their will. We're trying to train their will and get their, their will to kind of coincide with ours. She's doing pretty well at this, isn't she? Yeah, she's not doing too bad. You know, she's had the, obviously had the saddle on enough that she she knows not, you know, she's not afraid of the saddle. Yeah. It's just a matter of her choosing her choosing to stand here. And see, all this time right here, what I'm doing with her is showing her that when she's wanting to stay when she's wanting to stay with me or willing to stay with me the work is way easier she yeah. can stand around more she doesn't have to run um, she gets her her lungs get a break Was she doing anything wrong in that at all? In what we were just doing? Yeah. No. Uh, oh, okay. No, she was, you know, she was kind of looking around a little bit. Yeah. Which is fine. That's, you know, that's no big deal. Um, I don't care if she, if she looks around, but I don't want her. When, when I come up and go to pet her, I don't want that head raising up above my eyes, so that, <coughs> excuse me, the last time before I dropped that cinch, she came in, and I went to, you know, I picked my hand up, and her eyes were, yep. were up like that, so I'm not going to pet her, I'm not going to rub on her, I'll just walk around a little bit more, until that head comes down.
Got to have a saddle you're willing to dump on the ground at a moment's notice, huh? prior to me having to chase her off. Now you weren't too concerned that she was backing away from you or? No, not that. I don't mind if she if she backs away, I'll just kind of stay right where I was at. Or I'll just keep keep walking up to her. quickly then I'll just stop and uh, stop and then pet her on the pet her on the head <clears throat> backing away is, is fine if she wants to <laughs> Do you get very concerned with the direction of turn when she's, uh, you know, whether she turns away from you or turns into you? Well, at first, since this is her first ground turn session, yeah. I always turn her away. And then eventually, after usually their first, first or second round turn session, then I'll start doing both inside and outside turns. Oh, okay, that's what you're calling inside and outside. Yeah. And then as she uh, as she advances in her in her training, then I'll do the inside turns in the round pen. The the basic 
most of the basis of those turns is showing the horse that you're in control and that you can direct their their speed and their direction. You can direct where you know the, the travel of their feet and you can direct uh, you can direct the travel of their feet and you can direct the direction of their feet. So the you know both the turns are important to teach the horse but the outside turn is way more natural for the horse. Yeah. So we start with her getting into the habit of when I pull this cinch tight, her walking, and then me pulling the saddle off, and the more I do that, the more she's going to think, oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Right? So, like that time, I put the, I pulled the cinch tight, and she took a step, so I just placed my hand on her shoulder, you know, in front of her shoulder, to stop her, so she knows that this is what I want. Yeah. There you go. Jump around. 